Remember how I told you that with the higher interest rates, all the shorts and all the margin is much more expensive. And if they don't close on some of the short positions right now until they already use the cheaper margin, the newer one will be much more expensive. AMC stock borrowing fees rises, which indicates a potential greater risk for the shorts. Because if your calculations worked with the previous rates much cheaper, you need a very little moves just to make money. Now the calculations are different. Current borrowing fee for AMC stock indicates that demand for short sellers is still extremely high. Indicating that you know borrowing fees are not simply based on supply and demand, there are also a couple of different factors that are coming into the formula to come up with the end number. But the idea over here is that if the short sellers, as you can see over here, are even willing to borrow more shares on these new rates, on the higher rates that they have to pay for the borrowing, uh, well, they should have extra confidence and they should be very aware of what is coming on the market. Otherwise, uh, you know, they have a very slim margin to make money out of it. The cool part over here is that this is a daily fee and this daily fee could be different every single day. So this means that if yesterday you need the stock to go down a dollar to make tons of money, tomorrow the borrowing fee could be higher and you have to wait the stock to fall two dollars, right? And this might not happen at all. Also, the cost of borrowing a stock varies based on a law of supply and demand. Among the factors are utilization, which AMC is at 100%, which means that the higher the utilization, the more expensive the, the actual borrowing fee will be. The number of shares available to sell short, liquidity and volatility, which as you may have guessed, both are not in favor for the shorts. Also, the common range of borrowing fees are between 0.3% and 3% per year, you know. But that's just for the general stocks. If somebody wants to short Apple, Microsoft or some of these, uh, you know, boring stable companies. What about we're talking about the short squeeze place? Well, sometimes there are certain stocks that have extreme short interests, extreme short uh, sellers around them. And these stocks could hit a borrowing fees exceeding the 20%. And this is very, very interesting because according to S3 Partners founder, uh, borrowing rates can provide a valuable information to investors considering the stock trade. But why is this, right? An increase in the stock borrowing rates may force short sellers into closing their positions. Like I mentioned earlier, right? If something doesn't add up in the end because of the fluctuation of the borrowing rates, well, you better move on, right? Try to find stock with uh, higher liquidity, stock that allows you to short and uh, have a very little or little to none uh, borrowing fee. And as we can see over here, getting out to realize that remaining mark to market profits and exiting before other buy to covers drive the stock price up essentially. Uh, S3 Partners founder is trying to say that if you are in the position in which it is very, very expensive and it gets more expensive every single day to borrow shares to short certain company, well, it kind of makes sense for you to be the first one to close your short positions because every following person will drive the stock price of the short uh, squeeze higher and higher. So you don't want to be the one paying in the middle or at the peak, right? <laughs> you better be the first one buying uh, during the first turn up at the peak uh, so you will be able to exit your short positions and buy back the shares on a relatively cheap price because when you <laughs> exit your short position the following uh, short seller have to buy on even higher prices this is why it is very very tricky to pick the right moment to exit your short position and looking at the borrowing rates for uh, amc as you can see over here we're having data provided from interactive brokers shows that annualized fees for AMC Entertainment are 18.6%. They're almost 19%, guys. Just think about it. How substantial percentage out of their potential profits or revenue of the shorts are going straight towards nowhere. Just paying the fees. And the interesting part over here is that this fee could go higher and higher and could go lower as well, right? The fluctuation... And you know, the uncertainty is killing the shorts indirectly. Leave your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and come back for more. Yeah.